Um, at the end of the day, I mean, there's nothing to announce regarding Albert just yet. Um, there's a lot of things that needs to be dotted and T's crossed, but uh, adding someone like that is uh, is crazy important. What he does for that clubhouse um, outside of his skill set is unbelievable. And um, what he adds with his skill set is going to be incredible. So, that's all I got. You, you have described the, the benefit of a presence in the middle of the order. Um, that can come with production, you know, but also with name recognition. How teams have to be aware. And how do you see that playing out? Again, in general terms. I agree with what you just said. Having a presence is important. Um, yes. Ali, what? Ali, what? Looking from afar, what he did with the Dodgers last season. Did that tell you anything about what he still got left? Oh, he's got some left. He got more than some left. Uh, uh, Albert wants to play this year because he can help a team win. Um, it's not. He, he wanted to finish well, and I believe uh, he will do that. I actually found this morning in my phone a photo of the two of you on the field at Dodger Stadium before the wild card game last year. Yeah. Can you speak to what your relationship with him is like and your history together? Uh, a ton of respect for him. Um, it goes both ways. Uh, he's a good friend. He's, uh, he's a good leader. He, he does things right. Um, I respect the heck out of that guy. And, and what he brings to a clubhouse, it, it's hard to match. So, yeah. Is there, is there enough? time on the schedule for a hitter to be ready for opening day to join you at some point this week to be ready? Yes. Okay. You have a veteran, you have a veteran <laughs> left-handed bat as a DH. Did you need a veteran right-handed bat? You've got young, you've got right-handers. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, um, when you look at that DH spot, do you need a veteran presence? Um, no. Is it helpful? Yes. I, I think when you're asking somebody to uh, take four pinch hit at bats, basically what it is. It's, it's something that's learned. It's something that uh, experience definitely helps. Um, had a great conversation with Dickerson this morning regarding um, putting someone that hasn't done it before in that spot, and it's a, it's a tough ask. So as far as this having a veteran president, someone that's done it in the PA spot help, absolutely. Have you had any conversations with Yepes during camp about that, about the challenges yeah. of what that spot would look like and yeah, growing into that? Is that, I mean, is that something that he's, I, I guess I'm sure has been positively responded to, but how does, do you think he kind of views the challenge of being comfortable in that role in it, general? I mean, it, it's something where you you don't know until you experience it. Um, you have a lot more time when you have a bat at bat to sit there and think about it and roll over it. And it, it takes some, it, there's a learning curve to it. Um, and I think Yepes has the right mentality to be able to do it. Yeah. Well, you said from day one that your bunch is, is here to, win a title. They, it'll be a disappointment if you don't contend. Is this just another example of you guys are throwing everything you got to try to win it all? With what? With adding a veteran right-handed bat in general terms. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah. What is the how, how far will Brooks go today? Is this a nine-inning B game? It's nine-inning B game. I'll go four. Yeah. It would be a point. I'll go four right around 65. Or so. Will Molina stay in long enough to catch X or X be your second pitcher? It'll depending on how he's feeling out the gate. I'd like to see him catch all of Bueno's four and then go from there. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, is Hicks next in it? Or, or I guess it, you might. It depends on how. Might no. Depend on how that last inning goes. Yeah. I feel pretty good to write Molina's uh, name in the lineup card for the first time. Uh, yeah, I can get used to that. Um, It'll be good to see him out there today. Um, he's excited. It's nice that it lines up uh, with Wayno. Um, but he's been confident to get to get out there, so it'll be a good day. How does, it, how does his backfield attach there the other day? He took the extra day. Yeah, so fine. Um, yeah. He feels good about it. Timing is fine for where, where he needs to be. He picked up to the end of the day, so uh, everyone feels pretty good about where we're at. What do you, uh, what do you need to see from him? Sure. I mean, is it, is it health at this point, or is he past the health questions and it's now not for control? Yeah, I think that it's that. For us, it's not health at this point. It's just making sure he feels comfortable with his release points and that there's consistency with his command in the baseball. Um, and getting his repetitions there. But from a health standpoint, we're 
I feel good about where we're at. Yeah. Is he a multi-inning guy for you today? Today, no. Okay. When we, uh, the other day, we were talking about whether a 14 or 15 pitcher alignment makes more sense. Does Jordan's readiness and his ability to give you various looks, is that maybe one of the places where that might turn? Yes. Like if you, if for example, if, if he was, would you maybe need additional coverage if Jordan was a guy who could only go one to open the season versus having more flexibility? No, even if, I mean, even if he's a one in a guy, you can get away with it if okay. you to go with 14. I don't think that that would be the, the strategy or the reason we would go with 14. Uh, I mean, 15. Um, but our hope is that he can build up and be more than one in a guy. Mo has said that with Verhagen and, and Brooks, they can swing, they can start and relieve. Uh, do you have a preference or the way Brooks lines up? I guess obviously you're using him as a starter now. Do you see one or the other where he fits better? Uh, not where he fits better. I think it'll be a matter of letting those guys compete and seeing which one gets that job. Because uh, either one could be in the bullpen or start. Um, I'd be comfortable with, with either option there. It'll be a matter of who, who wins it out. Had a moment to think about what opening day could be, going to be like. You guys have it here. Based on recent developments, it's going to be a very, very memorable debut for a season. It'll be loud. <laughs> 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 You're going to be jealous of maybe some cheers at the. I mean, could have been your big introduction. But I, 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 might be I, I can care less here. about my intro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, those all are kind of big for you. Huh? It's what, whatever you tell yourself. <laughs> I can care less about my intro, man. I, I really, um, I haven't even thought of that at all. Uh, yeah, there's some, uh, with what's going on with Yachty and the combination of uh, him and Wayno, and just, this could be really cool. Yeah. You guys good? Got more yes, Albert questions? <laughs> yeah, many, but I don't know if we're going to get answers. Is tomorrow still an off day? Tomorrow's still an off day. I'll be on a boat.